Next up, we have Josh Finney, who is um, one of the people in, uh, involved in uh, Node DC, the local uh, Node.js user group. And he is going to talk to you today about writing command line applications in Node.js. Take it away. Uh, unique uh, configured version. And uh, 
uh, Commander allows you to easily uh, signify what these are um, for your command line application. And then it also allows you to uh, expand the help function a little bit. Uh, so instead of just parsing out the, uh, the variables of the options that you have of your command line app, you're going to actually give examples. Uh, so like, I get the users of the app uh, examples. And so when, when you actually run the help function, it looks like this, which is awesome. Um, it's just built into Commander. It's, it makes your uh, command line tools really, really easy. So uh, this is a little bit more example of what Commander does for us uh, to make it easy. Um, it gives us the ops, um, the options of the command line. So if it had the configured flag, uh, the ops.configure is true. Um, and then if it had the unique flag, the ops.unique is true. And no longer are we hunting through that uh, array of variables that our uh, process that our B gives you. So that's cool. So that's the how. That's a really high level overview of how to use Node uh, for command line tools. So let's get into Gold and Babel. Um, so for this talk, I converted everything to ES6 because ES6 is the new thing that we're supposed to be using. Um, and what it did is it added a bit of uh, weight to the application. But it's, it's good weight because uh, ES6 is the future uh, JavaScript. We all move there. Uh, this is an excerpt of my packages.json file. So like uh, we uh, import Gulp and Babel uh, to have a task runner that will allow us to build our ES6 into JavaScript. Uh, the reason why I do this is that uh, we can't guarantee that everyone's running the right version of Node. Uh, so the command line application that I, I published is actually still uh, ES5. Um, but as a person who builds the app, I want to use ES6. So this is kind of just a step that we can take. So this is uh, the Gulp ES6 file. Um, yeah, you can write uh, Gulp in ES6. It's really awesome. So what I'm all simply doing is just taking my ES6 files, uh, running them through Babel, and then Babel, uh, taking those files that are uh, JavaScript, minifying them, and put them in my library folder. And then I have a watcher function, so this does it automatically for me. And unfortunately, this is the uh, gulp.js file. We still need this, um, but it's getting better. So that's how you would use Babel and Gulp to build. So now testing. Um, another nice thing about writing a Node apps for command line is that it's JavaScript. Uh, we can test uh, easily. So um, pick your testing framework that you use, and you'll be able to test your application. Uh, it's really awesome. This is uh, just a quick excerpt from the Wikipedia uh, link of all the libraries that allow unit testing in JavaScript. It's expansive. Um, yeah, so here's an example uh, of the test in my uh, command line application. This is just testing one of the uh, small uh, hashing functions that I have in the, the, the uh, program. And I just use the assert library that is in uh, Node. Uh, it's, it's very simple, so I, I didn't really need Mocha, Chai, Test, Tape, whatever. Um, Cool. And now to the, the, the meat of the talk is how to actually publish a, a node command line app to uh, NPM. So like with those 200,000 packages on NPM, people are, are actually writing these and publishing all the time. Uh, and it's actually surprisingly easy uh, to do. So these are the four steps I'll be going through to kind of <coughs> go through the publishing process. So first you want to prepare your uh, command line app. Uh, so in package.json, there's a preferred global true flag and a uh, bin um, option. And what these do is that it tells you, uh, it allows you to have your command line app uh, preferred to be global. So if you've ever seen when you install an app uh, like Gulp, it says this is prefer preferred to be installed with like dash G. Um, so when you want to publish your application, you want something like your command line app like Gulp or, or Babel. Uh, you want to have it. Uh, installed globally, so that's the flag to do it. It's really easy. Um, and then the bin is where your executable is located. So we jump to here. Um, you can just 
say it's in the bin push file. Uh, then, of course, if you're going to actually use uh, NPM, you need to sign up for NPM. Uh, so you need to go create a user. And then you need to add that user to your NPM uh, on the machine that you're going to use to publish. Uh, so there's an a option called that user to NPM. And it just runs through that you use your username and password of npmjs.com and then your email. <coughs> and then, um, Something that's relatively new to the MDM world is string grab, or at least to me. And uh, what it does is it allows you to um, get better definition into your uh, dependencies of your application. So what it does is it uh, replaces the NPM install, and it gives you uh, much more detailed versioning of what packages you want uh, in your application. And this is important for command line uh, applications because uh, if a dependency of yours changes a dependency of theirs, uh, it can mess you up. So shrink wrap allows you to kind of just lock that in. And here's an example uh, quickly. So the prompt library, which I use, and, uh, has dependencies util. And then here you can see that it just gives you the uh, version number of that uh, package. So. When you install push file, it will install all these packages uh, with the dependencies that are given in the, the shrink wrap uh, JSON file. And then to publish, it's as simple as just publishing. Uh, and being published, uh, it's really that easy. Um, it was actually really cool to get something up in NPM, uh, which is great. <coughs> all right, so that's that's basically it. This is a talk kind of to get you from zero to publishing your own command line app. But, so, some things to remember. Uh, it's just JavaScript. Uh, argument parsing is a pain, so please use a library. Uh, it's just, it's not worth it not to. Uh, test your application is JavaScript in the end, so just test it with how you do it, and publish off. So this is me. Uh, you can connect with me. I'm at JavaScript. Um, I work for Jack Maven. We're awesome. We're hiring. Uh, questions? Uh, uh, who, who's asking? Oh, there we go. Hang on. Way in the back. Sorry. I think I could have shouted, but okay. right. um, so thank you for bringing us up to speed on like how to write something and publish it. My question is, um, I don't really know much. I, I knew zero about uh, Node.js command line applications before, and so now I know like maybe how to write something and publish it but I still don't really know what I would even want to try and do. Can you tell us about some resources, I don't know, or some inspirational places you can go to find like some cool ideas or what's already been out there? Um, that's a really good question. Uh, so, it was, uh, the reason why I wrote the push file was really just as a learning opportunity for me uh, to uh, learn how to write Node better, and then I decided that I might as well make it a command line application as well. Uh, I don't really have any resources of why, uh, but with uh, the onslaught of like Babel and, and Gulp and run on the computer, uh, on the build processes of making websites today, uh, it, it kind of really spurred me as to you know building a command line as simple as Gulp. So I would definitely take a look there. Um, like Gulp is really amazing if you look at the code. Any other questions? Uh, is it possible to? Run a command line application without installing Node? Um, no. Uh, so, if you're going to run a, a Node command line application, you definitely need Node on the computer. Uh, so, unfortunately, <coughs> that, that is a limitation where you know if you wrote it in Bash, you wouldn't have that. Uh, but with with the you know, like the advent of the runners, um, Node is almost everywhere. Anybody else? I might have missed it, but I, I saw you run it with a dot slash and then your file name. Yep. Um, did you cover using like your own keyword or just kind of how like you can run all the things that you Yeah, oh, so yeah, um, that's a really good question. So in the examples, um, when I was running it, let me see if I can. Uh, here. Uh, so 
this is just for testing purposes uh, because I'm building it um, locally. I'm using the local build of it. Um, but with the, the preferred global um, flag, and if you actually do install this from npm with the dot, uh, dash g, uh, it will be in the namespace of uh, your, your, uh, your computer. So you could actually just type in a push file and it will run. Uh, that's why it's kind of important to use that preferred global flag. So it kind of reminds people they're installing it. So I'll pull it. Does it work with standard engines like another? Do you like to put this app on it? Um, probably, yes. Uh, if you write your application with that, you, know, like you could definitely accept that. Um, push file doesn't, but like whatever you want to do with a, a command line app. Anybody else?